Well, we love a dub dub motherfuckers. What is going on, everyone? It is I, everyone's favorite jack of all trades with the foul mouth, Commodore Urban. And welcome back to another awesome fucking video, guys. I greatly appreciate it. And before I dive into this bitch, I want to give a big shout out to all of you guys, my viewers. And my subscribers for sticking around watching this shit. It's the reason why I fucking do it is for all of you guys. So, yeah. So, anyway, today this is going to be part two. Yes, this is going to be part two of our build of the Revell. One, the 426 scale model of the USS Arizona. The Pacific Fleet Battleship. Memorial to the tragedy of Pearl Harbor. You know, the Pennsylvania class battleship. And in part one, we dealt with the cleaning of all the parts we dealt with uh, trimming and cleaning all the parts of plastic for you know we, we gave the parts a bath and shit and cleaned all the shit off then we took our knives and sanding sticks and stuff and cleaned all the excess plastic and shit off of it and got them pretty much all ready for primer and paint and you know assembling what fucking have you Anyway, today is a monumental video because we're going to deal with the hull of the of the Arizona. Sorry, I'm getting ready to say Bismarck. I've dealt with Bismarck for so fucking long. But the hull of the Arizona. It's a two-piece bitch, and it was a pain in the ass to get fucking together. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the instructions here, which literally is the first step uh, like the first step is to take the two halves of the hull which is parts number two uh, I get to put my hand so stupid there there we go parts two and three we had to clamp those bitches together and at the same time we would have to add part 71 70 73 and 74 which are the four propeller shaft <coughs> the four the four propeller shafts and part number one which is the rudder as for part 72 uh, part 72 and 75 which are the ship's four uh, propellers still will be added later after the, everything is painted. Now, they make everything look pretty fucking straightforward and easy with this step. It was not. The two halves of the hull did not want to meet up perfectly, which was an absolute fucking bitch. So, now, without any further ado, I want to show you guys the hull. Yes, I got it primed, it's all ready to go. But I'm going to show you the inside of this thing here. You can see, if I can get it in the light, you can fucking see the Atmos battle that I had getting this fucker to stick. And before I even put the two halves of the hull together, the first thing I did was I drilled all the portholes out. So I took the two halves of the portholes and shit with the smallest with the smallest fucking bit I have and I went through like that and I just drilled them all out and that was a pain in the ass in itself once I had all the portholes drilled out on both sides of the ship I went ahead and took the two halves of the hull and I glued them first I glued them up front and I glued it in the rear okay so I know that would work and then so the midsection did not want to stick so I used my secret weapon for hard ass shit to deal with Gorilla Super Glue now this shit this shit will hold rocks and stuff together this shit you can put wood you can glue wood and rocks together and it won't, it won't come apart so I used this shit and a lot of it for the mid belly and this is after like I said I had cleaned both I cleaned both halves of the hull, like I said, with everything else, trimmed the mold up, cleaned all the excess plastic and shit off. I glued them together, and I took 
a bunch of rubber bands and tape and I put a tape on the inside to hold rubber bands and I even had like this and I even had a piece of cardboard with several books to get it flat and I had that for like two and a half three hours sitting like that until it stayed and then as you can see along the hull I had to putty it because there was a lot of cracks and seams and areas where I cut it off of the um, sprues. I took a lot of the plastic out. So I used my contour putty, which I got to buy in there too with this shit. This shit's absolutely fucking amazing stuff. Great stuff to have on your testers. Contour putty. And I filled in all those cracks along here all the way up front. I let that shit dry. Took my sanding stick, sanded the motherfucker, you know, to get it all smooth. And had this all cleaned up. Next thing I did was, of course, I added the rudder. I did that at the same time when I glued the two halves together, but I took the propeller shafts, I cleaned them all up and did that too, and I glued them on. And then finally, I did the ship's three anchors. She had two on the port side and only one fucking anchor on the starboard side like so and I glued them in place as well because I figured well once I get the paint and stuff out and paint them they'll be the same color as the hull of the ship okay you can see the original color of the plastic on the inside and you can see the color I used here this is primer the last little bit of primer that I had my rust-oleum um, cover all primer I'm gonna have to go get me another fucking can of that shit. So I did. Took it outside, shot it with a few shots of my last little bit of primer, and I primered the motherfucker. It looks pretty damn good, honestly. I mean, as y'all can see. Sorry guys, just kind of. Yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty fucking good. I think it does it. <clears throat> getting it primered and everything really brought out the, uh, the detail and shit in her. So, brought a lot of the details and stuff out. There's going to be some of the shit I'm going to have to remove. Probably going to remove these, um, uh, these things right here. I know what they are. They're, um, I forget what the fuck they're called, but they're the things that they drag through the water to paravanes. These are fucking paravanes. They tow these through the water to catch onto underwater mines to cut them and bring them up to the surface. So I'm going to probably remove this and that or whatever to get them off the sides. Probably. And then I'll get more primer and primer again. Get all this sealed up and shit. And then I got to go to Hobby Lobby because I need some paint and shit as you guys can remember. I have my Hobby Lobby gift card I can buy some shit with, which I'm going to. I need to really badly. So, and I also need to get some more primer because I need to finish primering the upper edges of the inside of the hull because that's the, uh, the plastic railing. Like I said, there is no aftermarket for this bitch, so I'm just building her right out of the box here. I'm going to be painting her and detailing her up in her light pre-war navy gray scheme that she wore right up until um, late 41 because even as late as mid to late 41 she still had her piece colors. They didn't repaint her until later on in the dark in the dark navy gray, blue, whatever the fuck color that is. So yeah, that's going to be my plan. The bottom's going to be red, upper portion's going to be light navy gray, and of course the black boot top stripe that runs in the center. That's going to be fun. We'll get all that shit done, and then the next thing I'll be working on is getting the upper deck pieces done and the turrets and shit. Get them all glued down and have the hull all prepared to start building the up the fucking superstructure and shit. And, working on her from there so there you have it guys that's what i've been doing i've been battling this piece of shit plastic hull which this is about the 
One thing I really hate so far about this model is this hull was a bitch to put together and was a bitch to keep together. But once you do fight with it and shit, it looks good. It looks nice. So, yeah. There you have it. Looks fi mighty fucking fantastic, I think. I don't know. What do you guys like? So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed part two of my build of Ravel's 1 to 426 scale model of the USS Arizona. If you have any questions or comments about anything I'm fucking, I do and shit, leave them in the fucking comment section below and I'll get back with you. If you're new to the channel and love the shit I fucking do, hit that fucking subscribe button. Hit that damn notification bell. Never miss a video from yours truly ever again. Let's get up to 1,000 subscribers. Even better, let's get to 2,000 subscribers. That would be fucking awesome. So, yeah. Anyway, until next time, this is Commodore Urban. Saying a smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with all of you. God bless you all. Take care. Stay safe. Be yourselves. Jesus and the good Lord love you all very much. And until then, I'll catch you on a warm trade wind where hell anyone knows. And let's go, Brandon. Fuck Joe Biden. And Trump 2024, baby. Yeah.